Good morning, so it is Wednesday and I am set up to do my video calls like I am every week. I'm testing out the new camera for this week's vlog so hopefully the quality will be a bit better and the sound will be better hopefully. I was just using my old iPhone for all the other vlogs but I thought you know what I'm going to upgrade because I'm actually really enjoying doing these vlogs. Thank you so much for everybody's lovely comments and for subscribing. If you want to see more about the one-to-one -one diet and weight loss and maintenance um, then subscribe and I will be uploading videos every Tuesday and they will be anything from obviously me being on plan and working through the steps. I'm going to try and get my slimmers to join some of my vlogs. Oh, the focus goes out quite a bit, sorry. And I'm going to do product hacks, recipes. Basically, comment below with what you want me to film and I will do it. So, it is day two of step two. 100% yesterday, feeling good. Already feel better, basically. You just feel so guilty when you come off plan. It's such a weird feeling. But I've had lots of my slimmers message me saying, oh, thank God you're human. <laughs> and a lot of them have been really lovely, actually. They said, you know, you got you got your stone off. You did what you set out to do. So having a couple of nights off plan is really not a big deal. But I just, I didn't want to let you guys down, basically. So I really wanted to just be good for you guys and show you the results. So this week I will be 100% on step two. And I'm hoping, hoping and praying that I'll get close to the 10 stone mark. Oh my god, if I see nine something, I'll be so happy because that's like my happy place. So I will keep you posted and I'll keep showing you as much as I can. I'm just rubbish, I keep forgetting to do any videos. So this week I am going to try and do a little bit more and show you what I'm eating. So far today I've had a vanilla latte and I had my peanut bar because I was on video calls uh, back to back. So now I'm home from the school run, I'm going to make my step two meal. And I think I've got a bit of lean mince left, so I'm probably going to have that again with a, a big mushroom, which is what I had the other day. Um, actually, no, I'm on day three, aren't I? Oh my god, I'm on day three today of step two. So yeah, I had the stuffed mushroom the first day, then I had the prawns yesterday, and now I'm having the stuffed mushroom again. So I will show you what it looks like in a second. Right, so I've only got 107 grams of mince today, but that's fine. So you measure your protein first. And then I like to add about 10 grams, oh, yeah, 10 grams of um, spring onion, or nine grams, oh, there you go, 10 grams <laughs> of spring onion, because I just think it's really flavoursome. And then I'll add some garlic, some basil, some onion powder, whatever you've got in the cupboard, shove it in for flavour. I'm going to use all of these, crushed chilies, garlic seasoning, onion granules, basil, and good old black pepper. So while I'm here, I thought I'd let you know that I use the 5% beef mince and I don't use any oil. I just dry fry it and then I'll add a little bit of water, boiling water if it needs a bit of moisture, but I never use oil. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the golden veg water flavoring because it's really salty and it just adds loads of flavor. And then I'm gonna add 10 grams of passata. So it's got a bit of sauce. And then my mushroom weighs 44, so, or well 43. So add the 10 for the spring onions, so that's 55 say, plus the 10 for the passata, that's 65. So I've still got a little bit more veg to use and protein to be fair, so I might actually add another mushroom on. Yeah, let's do it. I'm literally just gonna warm them through on here on a griddle pan. I don't like them overly cooked because they go quite watery, so I'm just gonna warm them and then afterwards I will put the mince on top and I will show you. Okay, so I think I've overcooked the mushrooms, but hey ho. So they go on. And then the mince on top. If your mince goes dry, add boiling water. It makes it like it's got more of a sauce. And then I tend to add a little bit of basil on the top. I haven't got any fresh today, annoyingly. Bit of basil, bit of black pepper, bit of garlic. And there you have it. Step two, meal. Delish. So what do you do when it's sunny and you can't have gin? you make a mocktail. So I'm going to use raspberry and elderflower and pineapple. 
pop about half a teaspoon of pineapple. Just guesstimating here, about half a teaspoon of raspberry. And then add my sparkling water, 500 mils right to the top. And there you have it. One-to-one -one diet style cocktail. These are like an absolute lifesaver, guys. For the weekends, sunny evenings, you know, when your other half is having a drink or your friends are having a drink at a barbecue, you can have this, which is, this is like the posh version of sparkling water, but it's my favorite. And I think if that's all I can have, I'm gonna treat myself. So yeah, I have this with the water flavorings and I drink loads of these. They're amazing. Try them. Morning, so it's Thursday. Still going strong, really strong actually. I feel energized again. It's day four basically of restart on step two, I guess. Um, but it's much easier when you're getting back on plan from just a small little bit of time off. Um, but yeah, I feel good actually. I feel really, I'm loving step two. I just feel so comfortable on it. You just get that lovely like slim feeling. You don't feel tired, you don't feel lethargic, you don't feel bloated. I just feel really good, so yeah, I'm happy and I'm going to stay on step two for the full week, so I will weigh in on Tuesday and let you know, hopefully I've lost something. I've got another full day of video calls today, I'm just about to start them upstairs in a minute. It's got my vanilla latte as my breakfast and I'll have my usual, I normally have my step two meal around lunchtime just because it breaks up the day and I can actually sit and really enjoy it while the kids are at school and then I will have my peanut bar after the school run with a cup of tea and then I have my final product when they go to bed probably about half eight and which is normally either a shake or bites or a bar again with a cup of tea drinking loads of water feeling good what's gone down a little bit today thank god it's still there but I don't know where that came from it was so random like who gets spots there I normally get them here, I'm quite a hormonal spotty person, but when on plan, I never get spots. So obviously I came off plan and hey presto, pops up. It just shows what an effect carbs and sugar and alcohol can have on our bodies. I shall see you all soon. I'll try and film a little bit more later on today. And again, I will do a bit of a cook along and show you my meal. Right, so today I'm gonna cook these summer edition by Sainsbury chicken fillets. I will have it with some veg. I'm not sure what veg yet, so I will keep you updated. Right, so the allowance of chicken is 170 grams. So I'm just gonna pop it into a bowl. So you can see, you get quite a bit. Right, that's close enough, seven grams over, but I'm gonna have that chicken and I'm gonna cook it in my griddle pan and I will show you how. I've decided to go for courgette. So 80 gram allowance, and I'm gonna cook that in the griddle pan as well, actually. That's sizzling away nicely. When I turn it, I will put the courgette on the top. No need to overcomplicate it, guys. Just shove it on, let it cook. I like to use the um, pre-marinated chicken just because it saves me a bit of time and it tastes really nice. And this range from Sainsbury's is really, really, really nice. I like to get my chicken quite brown, keep turning it so it doesn't stick. I don't use any oil. Keep turning until it's all cooked. Hello again. So today I've got my grey version of my Adidas dress on. So they're new, 30 quid. Absolutely love them. Really comfy, you can just throw them on. They're just a little loose t-shirt dress and yeah, I'm gonna show you my meal. Right, okay, so we're all cooked, all done. I'm gonna plate it up now. So I'll put my courgette on. And then you get three big bits of chicken. And a tiny little one. And the crispy, the crispy bits are amazing. <laughs> I did add a little bit of garlic seasoning to that in the pan, actually. Um, so yeah, I just didn't film that bit. So this is the finished meal, you can see. Lovely chicken, courgette. So, 
So we've been for a bike ride. Bethany's been to the shop. She's got a magazine. She's got a Capri Sun. I got a treat, Diet Coke. And she's requested, what have you requested for dinner, Bethany? Pizza. Yeah, got the Diet Coke. <sighs> That'll do me. Okay, little tip guys, when you're preparing food like this for your children, sugar-free gum. Have a sugar-free gum to stop you from snacking on this. You don't need this. Chew your chewing gum. You get this, mummy gets this. So we thought we'd add a little bit of green, didn't we, Beth? <laughs> Keep it healthy. <laughs> Is it nice? Yeah. So it's Friday and it's my day off. I've just had the most amazing pamper at the Beauty Boutique in Fair Oak and they've done my nails, pastel manicure. I've also had my toes done. I had a full on pedicure, which was lovely. Really, really nice. Um, actually chatting to the girls in there about the one-to-one -one diet and how amazing it is. And hopefully I'm gonna talk to them a bit more about it. They seemed really interested, which was lovely. I will tag their page here underneath just so you can check them out. They're really, really good. They do all sorts in there. They did my eyelashes as well. I had them permed and tinted and yeah, loved it. Just had my lunch. So I was a bit late having my lunch today. I had my vanilla latte this morning and then my lunch, I didn't have till about half past two. Um, and it was the chicken with the baby corn. Same chicken as yesterday. I just use the other half of the packet basically. So I tend to have like the same meals two days in a row to use everything up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna have tomorrow. I did the same uh, process today. I put the chicken in the griddle pan and then I put the baby corn in with it. Put a load of garlic seasoning on and that was it. And it was delish. After the school run, I'm gonna have my uh, bites. I'm probably gonna have the mint bites that I've got. And then lots and lots of water, probably some mocktails in the garden later. The hot tub is heated up and we're just getting the levels right and then we can use it. So that's really exciting. No Prosecco in there for me just yet though. So I'll have to stick to mocktails, but that's fine. I'm doing plan for you guys, so I'm gonna do it. And then later on, I'll probably have a bar with a cup of tea tonight, or I might even have a shake again. I'm fancying like a hot chocolate, so I might do that later. Um, yeah, so I shall speak to you all soon. So it is absolutely boiling today and I'm going to make the one-to-one -one diet ice cream using the vanilla shake and I'm also going to add some raspberry and elderflower water flavouring to turn it into a raspberry ripple. So I shall try and take you along with me. My camera's battery's run out and I want the ice cream now so I'm using my phone so hopefully it's okay. Okay so I've got the Ninja. It's a Ninja 2-in-1 and I got it from John Lewis. 
I got it for £99 in the sale. I think it's £129 normally, but Ninja do do other blenders and they, they are really good as well. This one just came with like a small one for my shake and then also this big one. And I find this is just amazing for ice and I'm gonna use that today. All right, so I've used two whole trays like this and put it into here. I'm gonna add a little bit, probably about 50 to 100 mils of really ice cold water just to give it a bit of something so it can move. I like the lactose free vanilla shake. I just think it tastes nicer, it's sweeter. Um, so you add a shake. And I always add mixer mousse. It just thickens it up a little bit more and it's got collagen in it. So, you know, who doesn't need extra collagen? Okay, and then it's got a crush function. So we're gonna crush the ice and go for it. Actual ice cream, guys. There's so much of it. <laughs> Okay, so there's actually way too much. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all that. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it into raspberry ripple now. Sprinkle the raspberry. And then do that. Oh my God, look at it. And you can eat your shake. Enjoy guys. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish that, but I'm gonna go and sit in the garden and try my best. <laughs> Five degrees and it's only nine o'clock. <laughs> Just taking the kids to school and we'll update you today. Way day tomorrow. Ooh. Jesus Christ, it's boiling today. So I'm going to make my vanilla latte but I'm gonna make it an iced version so I'm just gonna show you how to do that quickly so you can make it on these boiling hot days. You get a shot of coffee and you get a lovely iced latte to have in the sunshine. Okay, so you want to add your shot of coffee. I'm going to use caramel popcorn from Beanies. I never measure, about a teaspoon. And then you want to put a little bit of boiled water just to activate the caffeine and the coffee. Give that a swirl. And then top it up with ice cold water and lots of ice. Honey, just as I was telling you about Beanies, I had a delivery for some Skinny Food Co products. So they've sent me these, they've gifted me these, bless them. Um, they sent me a message saying, can we send you some stuff to try? I was like, oh yeah. But not all of this can be had on step two. So like the chocolate spread are, let the kids have, that's toffee flavour. 92% less sugar than normal chocolate spread, so that is amazing. I can have the salted caramel barista syrup, which will be amazing in my coffee. And I can also have the tutti frutti skinny syrup as well if I wanted to use that, and the spices. But the jam and the chocolate spread will have to be for the kids. I think I can have the burger relish as well. Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna try all of these this week. Thanks, skinny food. Right, back to my coffee. So I'm gonna to top it up with ice cold water. Probably gonna do about 500 mils total and then I'm going to top it up with lots of ice. Lots of ice. I'm at the max so I need to stop there. <laughs> then you add your shake. Of course I've gone for the vanilla. And then blend it. Once it's blended, add your straw and enjoy it in the sunshine. Because it's so hot, I'm actually not feeling that hungry, so I'm just gonna boil a couple of eggs to have my protein allowance. I have some 10 to 10 broccoli left in the fridge to you, so 80 grams, I'll have it with my boiled eggs. Okay, 
Guys, I cannot tell you how good it feels to just put a little pair of shorts on, a little top, and feel good. Like, it's been a while, guys. It's been a, it's been a long time. Since lockdown, I did, I lost control. And I didn't feel good. I mean, I wasn't overweight, I wasn't big, but I didn't feel good. And I, I definitely, definitely couldn't have put something like this on. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you it's worth it. It's worth every sacrifice. It's worth every bit of pain. Oh my God, it's worth it. Do it. If you're thinking about doing it, don't hesitate anymore. Just start today. Message me. If you want me to be your consultant, message me and we'll do it together. I can help you from anywhere in the whole of the UK. You don't have to be near me. I can have products delivered to you. I can offer video consultations, support virtually, remotely, whatever you need, I'm here because I want you to feel how I feel. So yeah, do it. Good morning, so it's Tuesday, it's way day. Here we go. Oh, oh 9.13.5. So that's another 3.8 pounds. That's nearly four pounds. Oh, oh I'm happy with that. So happy with that. I've reined it back. Oh, just shows if you go a little bit wrong, you can bring it back. <laughs> What's that? Happy? Okay, so on reflection, um, this week's gone amazingly well. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with the four pound loss. It is more than I expected. I have gone a bit crazy on the water. I have to say, I've drank at least four litres a day. I do say to my slimmers all the time, just drink more water especially in this heat you need to keep hydrated the weight losses are so much better if you drink more water it helps you feel better as well on plan and it helps your skin obviously i've had my breakouts this week which have done my head in but they are almost gone now so i'm quite happy about that amazing week you know i've gone into the nines it's what i wanted for my races event which is going to be on saturday i will have to move up to step three now just because you can't you definitely cannot drink alcohol on the lower steps and I know it's going to be a bit of a boozy event so I will step up to step three today just so I've got a few days under my belt before Saturday and then it's Father's Day on Sunday so we're going to celebrate that here I'm still going to be healthy on Sunday though we're not going out for anything or doing anything special I don't think we'll probably just have some food here depending on the weather it might be a barbecue but it's looking like rain so yeah, tune in next week. I will vlog this week, of course, and show you my step three meals and obviously take you along with me to the races event. What it is, is Ascot Races are doing like a virtual event and my friend's putting it on in her garden on a big screen and we're all wearing dresses and heels and everything else. So we just thought, you know, why not? We're allowed to meet outside, let's bloody take advantage. And then the weather changes and it looks like it's gonna be rain from Thursday, which is really annoying. But anyway, I shall see you next week. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please subscribe and give me a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know all of the little extras really make a difference on how far these videos go. So if you could just click the like button, I would massively appreciate it. And if you can subscribe, then even better. Thank you so much for all of your support and I shall see you next week.